Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Patreon podcast. This week, I wanted to talk about the end of the year, or really, I guess, the beginning of the year, considering this is going out on the first. I am probably going to, you know, write a companion piece on Patreon like I do every year, but I don't know. This year's been really interesting in a lot of ways. Like, obviously, it's been bad. There's been a lot of bad things that have happened, um, but it's also been a pretty good year for me overall from both a productivity standpoint and a mental health standpoint. I feel that there's been a lot going on that really helped me grow as a person. And, you know, even though there's bad things that happened, I, I, I want to celebrate that. And I want to make sure that, you know, those get recognized and I don't really feel the need to like list them all out here, but I also think that it's just important to find value in, you know, tragic things because usually something good can happen out of it too. I mean, I guess traditionally it's called the silver lining, um, which I guess is what I'm going to call this episode now, finding the silver lining. And obviously there are some things that aren't great. Um, there were like deaths of relatives that happened this year. There was um, just a lack of social communication. Um, you know, I haven't really seen my parents or extended family much this year and that hurts. It sucks. Um, and I miss that, but conversely, I got a lot of really good social exposure online this year and I had more time to figure myself out online and how I want to, you know, present myself next year. And I'm not saying that these two ideas are mutually exclusive. Like, Oh, if I want to get better at being on the internet, I have to never see my family again. That's not what I'm saying. It's just this, this social isolation offered me an opportunity to experience what it would be like if I was, you know, in, in a position where I was further away from everybody. Um, because for, for a long time, and I still do to some point, but for a long time, I had this ambition of just kind of living out in the middle of nowhere where I had internet, but it wasn't really like good internet and I could, you know, work in peace and, and, and try to make things without, you know, worrying about, Oh, well I have this schedule and I have to do this today and I have to do this and I have to meet up with these people. It's like that. If I lived out in the middle of the woods or if I lived far away from society, then that would basically be what it was. And I think that, um, this year is a good trial run of that. And I can honestly say that I don't know if I could hack it. Um, I, I do miss my family and I do miss my friends. And even though we can still visit and talk online, it's not the same. It's not the same as meeting up. And I, I, I did find that, you know, there is a bit of a silver lining with that where I did kind of realize and recognize that it's not just me putting my head down and doing the work. It's, it's also the social aspect of things and, and trying to become a more social person because of that. And that the same, this is really the same thing with working from home for me. I've been working from home at my day job since like February or March. And <clears throat> I realized that I really liked it. I like working from home. I, I can still get my work done and I can also get other things done around the house that I don't necessarily have time to do otherwise. And, you know, I kind of wish I could work from home all the time, (laughs) but, um, you know, it's, it's just kind of finding those silver linings and, and making sure that they are embraced because this year sucked in a lot of ways. And, you know, next year it might be a little bit better. I mean, hopefully it's a little bit better. I I have high hopes that it will be, but I mean, it's not going to be, we're not going to be walking into utopia or anything like there's, there's always going to be something that's wrong and something that needs fixing and something that affects us. That's out of our control. And we just have to figure out what we can embrace from that and how we can move forward and grow from that experience rather than letting it drag us down. And I guess, like, I guess that's really it. I, I do want to talk about the business side of things. I am going to be making my yearly Patreon post about that, where I talk about kind of where I've been, um, kind of the income and expenses and all that other stuff, because I, I want to be transparent about that stuff. But 
yeah, I, despite everything that happened this year, I had a good year and life happened and that sucks, but life happens every year and there's nothing you can do about that except for rolling with the punches and, and moving forward. And it's just good to have the experiences that I gained and the knowledge that I gained this year and something that I can take with me into 2021 and hopefully continue to grow and, and evolve and, and become a more dynamic and um, expressive artist and ex same thing with being a dynamic and expressive per person. It's something that allows me to just become better at everything I do. And I hope that, you know, next year we'll continue to bring new experiences and opportunities. And obviously I hope that for you as well. I think that, you know, it's good to just continue to find new things to grow with. And I hope that, you know, me being a part of that experience and that journey for you helps. And I'm always here for you. And I, I really do appreciate your support and your help and your kind words and your patience with me this year as uh, things have been very dicey, especially in the second half of the year. But overall, you know, I have high hopes. I think things are going to get better. So... As always, thank you so much for being a Patreon supporter, and thank you so much for listening. It does genuinely mean a lot to me. Um, happy New Year, and um, I will talk to you in the next one. Be remarkable.